Hey sweethearts, it's me Minnie and I am back again with another video. Um, my hair is a little <clears throat> messed up and I am just getting over having a pretty nasty cold so forgive my voice and I'll try my best not to cough or anything like that but I really had to get this video out and I just could not wait anymore. This is the long awaited how to use the Ion Absolute Perfection Booster Step 1 and 2 which are an Olaplex dupe as a standalone treatment for the hair. Now on January 22nd, I uploaded a video called Ion Absolute Perfection Booster Olaplex Dupe Review where I explain this product to you guys and how, you, how to use it. Um, and I cannot even believe how many views that it's had since January. It has had almost, uh, it has 5,000, more than 5,000 views, which is amazing. I have had so many comments on that video. Um, I have loved talking to each and every one of you. I've tried to reply to every single comment um, and just, do my best to like educate you guys on the product, tell you how it works, answer your questions, and a lot of people ask, can you use this product as a standalone treatment? So I did do some research on my own. I called Ion from my job, and I said, you know, how do, how can I do this? And they gave me the info, and I am here to share it with you guys. Um, I just want to shout out a girl. Um, her name, her channel is Michelle's Empire. She did use my original thumbnail from the Ion video I made um, and uploaded in January. She uploaded hers, um, which is another review on the Olaplex dupe. She uploaded it on May 7th, but she did not credit me and she used my thumbnail. I kind of edited over it. So I see you, girl. Next time, give me a shout out. The mini goddess. Thank you. Uh, okay, so. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to use this as a standalone treatment. So, my hair is freshly shampooed. I did not condition it, I just shampooed it, and this is how it is, and I waited for it to air dry. So I have some gloves, I have a comb, okay, I have a messy hair clip, um, and I have my mixing bowl, and my little thingy, what is this, whisk? All right, so this is what we're gonna do, y'all. We're gonna take Ion Absolute Absolute Perfection Booster, step one. Okay, I'm gonna open this bad boy up. Boop, pop the cap off. I'm gonna pour the entire thing into here. For such a little bottle, it's taken a long time to pour out. Okay, it's almost all out of there. Just gonna use the whole thing and just pour it in there. Sorry for any stains on it. It's my hair dye bowl. What you want from me? Um, it's almost all out. And we're going to mix that with four ounces of water. Okay. This is clearly gonna be a very liquidy um, solution. So I'm just whisking it around. This is gonna be super liquidy. I almost am wishing that I would have went ahead and put it in a applicator bottle, which I might, I might go do. I'm gonna go do that. Okay, so I went ahead and I transferred that into this bottle. And like I said, it's super liquidy. So originally I had it in the, the bowl, I was gonna apply it with a brush. And then when I realized how freaking liquidy it was, I was like, this is just never gonna work. Um, I don't really think I need gloves for this, although I do have some set aside. I'm not going to use those. Um, now normally I would have um, did my hair in a uh, four section, but I want you to see what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to start here and then I will continue off camera. So what you're going to do with your mixture is you're just going to go ahead and start wherever you want. You know, if you want to be crazy and, 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 you know, slop this all over your hair like a lunatic, go for it. I mean, there's no rules. And <laughs> just do whatever you want to do. So, you know, you're just going to, whoop, you're going to take this. You're going to start putting it on the hair. And just working it through. I'm saturating the hair. In my case, really want to add some on those ends. Because my ends are fried. Not as bad as they were, but our ends always get the most fried. I'm just going to put a little bit on here. See how liquidy this is? Okay. And I'm just going to continue like this. That's all I'm going to do. Oh, that was a pretty good part. <laughs> I wasn't really trying. That was pretty good. And I'm just going to run it through my hair. If you have a lot of hair, you're going to need more than one vial for this. I have really fine hair, so this should be more than enough for me. But it only gave me four ounces, so 
if you got a lot of hair you might need eight ounces 12 ounces you know so on and so forth so for every vial you're using four ounces of water for the standalone treatment so you do the math you know if you got a lot of hair go ahead and get yourself four vials and then you would be using 16 ounces of water with that and you would need a big ass bottle because I don't know many um, squirt bottles that come in a 16 ounce if you know where to get a bottle that comes in a 16 ounce for your hair or you have a lot of hair and you have your favorite type of bottle you use leave it in the comments below for other girls with long hair so that they know where to get it too because I think it's Sally's they only have ones that maybe go up to 8 and or 12 ounces um, so there you go so yeah I'm just gonna finish this up on camera and then I'm gonna do the rest off camera I'm just going through my hair making a mess you know <laughs> But girls and people who do their hair, girls, guys, I mean, this ain't nothing. You'll have no problem with this. Also, it smells super duper good, you guys. It smells like, um, uh, here we go with the green apple again. If you watched my last video, everything was smelling like green apple to me. But it does. It smells apple -y. It smells candy-like. It smells fresh and clean, and I really like it. Um, See, right up by my scalp, obviously that's my new growth, so that doesn't need as much, but I'm really trying to run it down to these ends, ladies and gents, because that's the part that really is going to need it. Alright, so now that I got through this, I'm going to finish it up really quickly um, off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back, and I have, oh my gosh, my hair is sopping wet with the, I still have a little bit left too. Um... I really went like all in with this stuff and I gotta say just like when you add it into your hair color as soon as you start applying it freaking hair feels like silk my hair feels like there is a conditioner in it so I know that this is already working um, and um, I just oh my gosh it smells fantastic and it just feels really soft so what you're gonna do is once you've applied it all over the place you can clip your hair up you can leave it down like this you can do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around I don't care what you do but leave this in for 20 minutes at room temperature do not put heat on it do not do anything like that I don't know what will happen if you do that so if you ask me I don't have an answer the instructions from the company specifically said no heat so don't put heat on it. I will be back in 20 minutes um, when I go ahead and rinse this out of my hair. Do not shampoo it out. Do not condition it out. Rinse it out thoroughly with water and then come back and well I'll come back and tell you what to do at step two so I'll be back guys. Okay so I'm back and I just went ahead and washed step one out of my hair uh, with no shampoo and no conditioner. Just rinsed it out really really well made sure there was none left like on my scalp or anything like that and now we're on to step two so you're just gonna make sure your hair isn't dripping you want it you want it damp you want it you want it wet even um, probably it's probably better if it's wet um, but not dripping you know you want to be able to do this and not have water you know dripping all over the place so I kind of just went through it a little bit with my fingers you can use a wide tooth comb if you want I wouldn't run anything else through my hair when it was wet except a wide tooth comb or maybe one of those detangling wet brushes because it's meant for wet hair um, it's never good to brush your hair when it's wet or comb it with like something like this it's no good okay so my hair is no longer dripping so what we're going to do is we're going to take our step two, okay? Ooh, hit my elbow on the desk. It's so late, you guys, and I have, like, the worst cold. It's, like, 3 a.m., and I'm just, like, ugh, and I work in the morning. But here I am. <laughs> so, okay, rip this open. We're just going to go ahead. We're going to take step two, which smells pretty good as well. And we're just going to start putting it all over our hair, just like we put step one on before. Okay? Now, of course, just like I said before, with step one, if you have a lot of hair, get more than one packet. You will need it. Um, and I'm just running that all over my very fine, thin hair. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. You really want to focus on the ends, as that's where the remaining damage in my hair is. I know I've said that a million times. Okay, I'm going to use every last drop of this. I want it up here. Ooh, that was a, quite the glob. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, 
you could just feel instantly how like soft it is and it just becomes so easy to like run your fingers through your hair because even though my hair is fine and thin it still gets like knotty it still gets tangled of course I know if you have thick curly coarse hair detangling yours is you know much more difficult but you can feel the difference almost immediately um that went in my mouth oh my god you guys all right, so what you're gonna do is once you get step two all throughout the hair, you can once again clip it up or leave it down like this. This time I'm gonna clip it up. You're gonna go ahead and leave this in your hair for 30 minutes at room temperature. Okay, so no heat again, just let it sit. You could do 20 minutes if you don't have half an hour. I'll probably do 20 minutes. Um, okay. And yeah, that's it. You're going to leave this in for 20 minutes and then you're going to rinse this out with water. Um, you could shampoo or condition after this. Um, don't do it after step one, like I said before, but when you wash this out, you can then shampoo and condition as normal if you like. But just like I said the first time I used this product and reviewed it for you guys, this stuff left my hair softer than any deep conditioner that I've ever used, so I found it pointless to... Um, shampoo. I didn't need to. It was unnecessary for me to shampoo uh, or condition my hair after using this. So yeah, you guys, that is how you use Ion Absolute Perfection Booster Step 1 and Step 2 as a standalone treatment. You could go ahead and add Step 1 into a gloss if you had one. And then once you rinse that out, you could uh, then just go ahead and put the Step 2 all over your hair. And, um, you know, let it sit like this uh, or whatever you whatever's more convenient for you. Um, but, you know, doing this as a standalone treatment certainly can't help. It should repair some of the broken bonds of your hair, um, which most of us need these days. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to think. Uh, I also had um, a lot of questions, people asking me if I had a dupe for um, Olaplex Step 3. I don't. From what I have heard and read, uh, well, Olaplex Step 3 is a mixture of Step 1 and Step 2, and that's what creates Step 3. Um, and that's what they send the client home with to use continuously over time to restore the bonds in your hair. If your hair is severely damaged, Nothing is going to be a miracle for you. If The more damaged your hair is, you just have to know with common sense that nothing is going to make it how it used to be except for time, maintenance, stopping using hard, like especially bleaching, um, and trimming off the damage. However, products like this can really help to repair hair while you allow it to grow, while you start to treat it better, and you can trim off some of the split ends and damaged parts of your hair. Um, I don't have a dupe for step three, but I certainly think that you can go to Sally's and pick up step one and step two and use them the way that I just showed you, um, you know, once a month uh, and treat your hair. And I'm going to use step one and step two um, before this month is over, maybe in the very beginning of June when I dye my hair, um, even though I just use it today. Like, I don't think, I mean, too much is no good, but I certainly think like twice a month is no problem. Like if I decided I was going to dye my hair tomorrow, I would put step one in my dye and use step two after, after. Um, but I wouldn't do it too frequently. You get the idea. I'm rambling. So if you guys have any more questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the, uh, you know, comment section below, talk to each other. Um, you know, if you have advice, if you want to share anything, just leave it below. I love hearing from you. I really hope that this was helpful. I know a lot of you wanted to see it, and that is why I am uploading this and filming this at 3 o'clock in the morning for you guys, even though I'm sick. <laughs> so I love you all so much. I am so happy to help each and every one of you. Thank you for watching my videos and taking the time out of your day to do that. Um, and uh, yeah, I have a giveaway that I am putting together. Uh, when I reach a thousand subscribers, I'm going to have one winner, like a one winner subscriber. Everything that I'm giving away, I'm paying for with my own money and I'm slowly building the collection of it. It's gonna be nail stuff and skin stuff and hair stuff and a couple of bags and things like that. So yes, uh, I will do, as I get closer to a thousand subscribers, I'll do a whole video about it, but I just wanna put it out there that it's something in the works. I love you all so much. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.